what is going on you beautiful human being welcome back to my channel today we're reacting to jujitsu kaisen episode 18 called wrong and right should be really interesting last episode was insane if you like jujitsu kaisen smash that like button consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date without further ado let's jump straight into it so here we go this is crazy um we, we haven't even started yet and i'm already like lost for words but the way the last episode ended with itadori like grabbing his face like that after sakuna showed him everything that he did was mental i mean just it's all it's like you can see the blood stained on his hands and it's like oh we did see nanami was walking at the end and he was like he looked like harvey two-face oh yeah his grandfather oh so this is just everything that's going through itadori's head man like i actually have no clue what's gonna happen because to me it looked like a lot of people got killed even just by jogo when he did like that fire right and wrong the show and that's the other thing what is this blue kind of looked like it was glitching out for a second like what's his name dagon's um domain oh nanami remember when he was walking he was like stumbling like that so maybe this is him losing it because the last place he was was dagon's domain which was at the beach well i mean the last place was actually in the subway when he got burnt like that but who knows how his brain was affected yeah that's what i'm saying he got badly hurt bro his face is smelted what mojito Oh my gosh, so Mahito was busy. Is he hiding from Sukuna? Oh my word, Nanami looks so terrible, dude. Man, that... Even the cursed spirits are like hiding. Malaysia. Oh my gosh, his, his face is ruined. Like, I'm taking back all the time I've lost. Now, Bito, he got... They died. Like, oh, I don't know if they died, but they got, like, flamed by Jogo. I've already done enough. Bro, this sounds like it's his last. Oh, my word, he's still going after them. This looks like someone who's on their last legs, you know? Like he's already dead. It's, this is just like automatically just what's happening inside of him. Like, you know, before he passes away. Wow. Oh. And he's not, it's almost like he's not even there. Like where his mind is at is on that beach. And his body is just unconsciously fighting, man. And he still kills all of them with one arm. Oh, Itadori is gonna see him. Here's the thing. So, Sakuna didn't completely take over, right? That's what they were saying. He was like saying, not long left though. You know, that's the other thing he was saying. So, you're here. Oh, Mahito. Oh my gosh. If Itadori has to see another death. Oh yes. He got killed. He got killed back then. When like Ghetto was even talking about it. And then like that was one of the reasons as well where he was like it's the non-cursed users that cause all our pain and suffering. Bro, imagine just like walking around the corner and seeing him like that, dude. Like face burnt. Oh my god, he just killed him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
Bro, like how much death is Itadori gonna see? Soul multiplicity, body repel. Bro, this show has become crazy. Dude. Like, it's got to like a very like very strange place because everything's been flipped on its head now it's at a point of no return ah. and then after all of that now you have to fight mojito like you have to somehow keep your composure you have to somehow bring yourself to not completely lose it. even though we already saw him lose it in the previous episode but my question is like did sakuna's time run up because i know he didn't have like joga was the one who said it he was basically saying like you don't have a lot of time before like itadori takes over again holy roundhouse and he didn't even see it <laughs> let's go yuji Wow, look at those blades. Bro, fighting in this like tiny alley type of thing. Oh. Man, Itadori's no joke. Because, I mean, look, we've seen Mahito fight already. Like, he's one of the strongest. Like, I don't think anybody's landed on Mahito like this since we've seen him. But yeah, it's still, like, what I'm interested to see now is, like, where do they go from here? Like, first of all, we need Gojo back. Although, I do feel like Gojo could, he could probably fix everything. But look at the loss. The city's gone. So many sorcerers are dead. It's kind of like, what is the point? Do you know what I mean? Like, so much damage has taken place. It's like, it's almost like you have to rebuild again now like if yuta was here there would have been a big difference but i guess it's like i was saying i think it was episode 11 and 12 or maybe 12 and 13 like i was saying that it's probably all gonna fall onto the hands of itadori and megumi This guy's just got endless curse energy, I swear. Oh, wow. So he knows if he makes a mistake, he's dead. Which is like a huge, like, feather in Itadori's hat. Those aren't real people. Unless, if they are, then it's over for them. Mahito will use them. Oh my gosh. Yo, that was my first. Oh my gosh. We have one more card for insurance. Dagon. <laughs> Bro, Mahito is a monster. And what, like, Chogo also just, like, collapsed. Patrick's. Last time we saw Nobara was like... She was fighting... I always forget his name. The blonde dude with the sword. Yeah, 
happen. Oh, cause she said, "Ow, oh, idiot." Ooh, wow, man, Jujutsu Kaisen. But like I was saying, I feel like they're just at this point in the show now where it's like I've been hit with so much like trauma in a way by seeing all this happen. It's almost like I feel like Itadori right now. And maybe that's the direction that they were trying to go in to make the viewer actually feel the pain and suffering. Because episode after episode, we've just seen this decline. We've seen this massive ploy, you know, by the cursed users and the cursed spirits right from the beginning by taking the subway putting the veils up so that they could seal gojo we've just seen this snowball effect where it's just like like the worst possible things that you could think to happen has already happened and I know that they did say that when it came to Sukuna that Jogo was the one who said it. He said that you don't have a lot of time left before Itadori takes control again. It was just the way it happened was kind of weird because it was almost like Sukuna left on purpose. You know, like he knew, okay, I don't have a lot of time here. And then he literally like, you know, showed Itadori all the memories and all the things that he did. And you look at his hands and you see the blood stained on his hands and his clothes are ripped and you know you can only imagine like the smell that must be coming from everywhere just even the smell inside of his nostrils of like rotting and burning flesh and just blood everywhere and i mean and then we saw nanami and, and wasn't i saying in the beginning of the episode it, it looks like the last moments of someone's life where your consciousness and your body has already separated and he's looking at like you know the ideal place where he wants to be because he's so exhausted already you know and he's talking about malaysia and he's saying some kuatan will be nice right now i'm not sure what that is maybe like some type of food and he's talking about just like reading on the beach and then you, you go to his body and he's there and he's busy fighting and he's like you know that just looked like someone in their dying moments and his whole face is and whole half of his body is burnt and then you know for itadori to walk around the corner and then mehito just completely like destroys him blows half of his body off which is like crazy because half of his body was already gone and now it literally just blew his whole torso off and you just see his hand lying there holding his knife and his legs and this isn't like those animes like dragon ball z and stuff where it's like oh we're gonna use the dragon balls to wish everybody back not that there's anything wrong with that but what i mean is there's like this realistic take on the trauma there's a realistic take on everything death is real death so when you see that now Bito, it happened to him it happened to maki as well they also got burnt by jogo like that it makes you think they wouldn't have been able to escape that unscathed now Bito already had one of his arms off we did see that uh, momoko and nanako they were able to survive jogo's fires but that's because they use like some type of technique so that would be my only that would be the only out for either maki to like still be alive is if she pulled off something similar but other than that she would be scarred for life if the fires did reach her and she managed to survive like at this point i'm sitting here and i'm wondering like how bad can it get before we see some form of good news i guess you know itadori even if he beats mahito then what how is he gonna pick up all these pieces you know it's just it's crazy and it's interesting how the show has got into this corner now where i don't know what what can possibly happen to actually save the situation even if you do end up winning it seems like there's been too many losses already i mean it's just crazy but that's going to be it for me if you like jujitsu kaisen hit that like button instead of subscribing to my anime reaction videos with the notification bell on because i mean i'm dropping every day of the week <laughs> crazy i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching that's gonna be it for me i'm out peace in a bit